Alright, I decided that I'm going to reshoot this video because we have some issues with sound. Hopefully this is a lot better for you today. So, this is just going to be showing how to get Paradox build running on Kodi. As I see a lot of people having trouble, so I decided that I would make a video myself. I'm going to be running this on a Windows machine, but regardless of what operating system you're using, the installation should be very similar, if not the same. There will be times where force closing on Android will be different to force closing on Windows. And just little differences, you know, but in general, you should be able to follow along no matter what device you're using. So, you know, there's a couple of things that we need to do here. If you're on a Windows device, then <coughs> you need to navigate over to Kodi and we need to download the Windows installer. And then, you know, whichever one you're going to be using, Android, iOS, some of the other ones I've never used. The only ones I've used are Windows, Android, and iOS. Then we need the repository for Paradox, which is here. So I'm just going to copy that now. And then, um, yeah, so once you've downloaded Kodi, you can go ahead and run it. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to run it from here. And this is what you'll be presented with. So from this menu here, you should just have basically everything that I've got on the screen. This is how your Kodi should look. So I'm going to go into the file manager. I'm going to add a source. And we're going to put that source that we already put in. And that's that done. So what I'm going to do is change the name. and click OK so now we've got that we can go back and now we can go to settings add-ons install from zip go to paradox wizard install the repository play update failed if it does that normally what I'll do is I'll install that one as well Failed to install add on from zip. Try it again. Sometimes it does this. There we go, add on updated. So you just do it a couple of times when you get that repository out. So now we can go install from repository, Paradox repository, Paradox wizard, install. And that's it. You're done basically at this point. You have your wizard installed. That's how you install sources as well, guys. So all of your sources will be in repositories, yeah? yeah I don't know what's in there, but you know, if you go through them all. So add-ons. Now you'll go back to the menu. And you'll click videos, add-ons, Paradox Wizard. And in this case, we're going to click install Paradox. It's going to ask you for... Um, a username and a password yeah I forgot how you do this but let me just do that oh man one second there we go I don't say there we go so now I can put my username in Okay. So once you've got your username and everything in there, you should be able to download the package. So that's that. Downloaded. Done. I've got two downloads available left. Blah blah blah. You need to force reclose. 
I just click yes, close. Windows should automatically close Cody. Yeah. On um, other systems like Android Day, you will have to do it slightly different. So now we're back in. And now, this is what you should be getting, really. You should have a a full yeah and you can just go and let me have a quick look like that you see everything there and then it will do all of its updates on that, on that side so there you go guys, I hope that um, shows you everything with um, how to get your Paradox working. In the future, if you ever want to know what we call it, um, if you ever run into issues, the like I said, the best thing to do is go to the Paradox Wizard and do a maintenance. Me, I normally clear the, clash, clear, clear the cache and just do a fresh start. And sometimes I'll purge the packages as well, but um, I don't know. And then you can go from there and install Paradox again, latest build, blah blah blah, whatever. You know? So it's all there. Everything's in your own menu. There's my build information for anybody that wants to know. Right now, there's a lot of CPU usage. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. You enjoyed.